All right, so everyone asks, what's the secret to keeping the bark on? Well, I swear by Chill Sealer. Um, it's epoxy, goes on, mixes up easy. It's a two to one mix. And you just paint it on with a brush and she's done. So I'm just gonna show you quickly here how we do it. So like I said, two to one. I'm gonna mix up three ounces, two ounces. And one ounce of the hardener. And we mix it up. <clears throat> Make sure to rub the sides. And you'll notice as you're mixing this epoxy, you have little strings. And what you wanna do is keep mixing until you don't see those strings anymore. Make sure you're scraping the sides Get the epoxy residue off the sides and the bottom. So we mix this together for a little bit. All right, so I mix this for two minutes now. <clears throat> and my working time is about 20 minutes. So I got to kind of go, yeah, not too fast, but fast enough, right? So what I like to do is pour it on the top. And then I brush it in. Now I want to keep it on the top as much as I can so that it saturates the bark from above and gravity helps draw it down inside the bark. And I'm gonna go close to the edge. And now what I'm doing is just trying to coat the bark and give it a nice little seal. So depending on how thick I want this to be applied or how, um, sealed I want the bark to be then obviously you put more on <laughs> as you need it so as you can see here just brushing it in slowly working it in again letting gravity take its course don't worry too much about bubbles and um, you know, kind of white clouds, if you will. Uh, it's pretty good at, um, uh, relieving itself of that. It's just air trapped inside. And try and get in all the nooks and crannies with your brush. Different directions. Sure to get the ends. And then once underneath, just to kind of grab any drips or any excess. Now, I also like to hit it 
just quickly with a heat gun. And it's simply just to remove some of the surface bubbles. And as you can see, Not bad. All right, so now that I've just hit it with a bit of heat, I'm gonna take my brush again and just kind of wipe up any excess. Wipe underneath for any bubbles, any drips. And then I'll do the other side as a second coat. And there you have it. So that's how it's done. Um, ends up looking pretty nice. Anyways, you can check out uh, Chill Sealer product uh, on my website. Uh, strangewood.ca